This is what happens if a shipment is not properly packed. Long had I searched for a Compact Presario 425, the immediate predecessor of the Compact Presario CD500 series. And the day it arrived, I literally unpacked electronics waste. The only question is, can I fix this? <laughs> Retrocomputing is the use of older computer hardware and software in modern times. I'm the Vintage Collector and these are my stories. As promised in my last video, here's the negative packaging example. Although the seller went for the box-in-box -box approach, he forgot to make the outer box much much larger and add additional dampening material. I was literally in tears. Already the moment I started unwrapping the machine, I knew I had lost and received garbage. The monitor frame was totally destroyed and the CRT tube on the inside all scattered. So at first I started dismantling the CRT. Here again you see the transportation damage it received. That's impossible to fix. But even if it were, or I could find a replacement CRT, the monitor frame would never again be able to support that weight. So I will yank out everything and try to replace it with a matching size TFT panel. All around the inner structural frame there's many broken off plastic pieces that I need to save as well. And while we're at it, I surely give it some good cleaning nevertheless. And here eventually our restoration journey starts. You may call me a crazy wacko, but I'm addictedly stubborn. I had searched for too long for this machine as to just let it go. So here I am, having laid down the biggest pieces in front of me, ready to glue them together. Admittedly, before touching this machine, I had done plastics fixage only once on a 2 cm long scar. But this one here is a totally different story. At first I try matching up the pieces and glue them together using super glue. Then I will weld it together using the soldering iron. In the next step I would start reinforcing the breakage areas from the backside by using a 2K automotive compound. Agreed, it looks ugly as hell, but it becomes quite stable again and you can see it from the outside anyway. As I mentioned earlier, I'm about to replace the CRT by a TFT panel. In order to connect that, I need to replace the existing VGA cable with its non-standard connector. I unsoldered it from the backplane connector so I can connect the standard cable with a VGA plug instead. As you can see in this close-up, the mainboard has developed a layer of dirt and dust during the years. I put it into an alcohol bath. Just be sure to remove the CMOS battery before you submerge it. All electronic components will survive the alcohol bath or rinsing in electrolyzed free water, except for the batteries. I will now solder some new wires to the battery connection points so I can hook up a replacement battery later on. Now I put the main bolt back into the base unit, wiring everything up as before. The unit didn't come with a hard drive included, so I'll be installing the usual compact flash to IDE adapter. Well, it's about time for a functional test. Everything is still a bit temporary here. Whoa. Guess I need to fix that switch. Oh yes, the power plug definitely needed a makeover to work reliably. Yeah, this may be boring and I may stretch your patient here a little bit as nothing is happening here. But is it really dead? Monitor went green. I see the cursor is coming. 
Well, look at this, look at this, with gazillions of errors still, but at least a definite sign of life. So now I'm installing the new CMOS battery and start with installing an operating system. As usual, I'll do some cleaning on the keyboard while I'm letting my fingers away from retro writing, and I have totally no issue with the typical yellowing of any such old devices. I can't stand the dirt on the keycaps or the debris underneath. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Now we'll start reassembly of the backplane connector behind the front case bezel. I will also add the monitor frame to see if things align up. Furtherly, I will install an Ethernet network card and a compact ESS audio drive for audio output. Then for another quick start test to see if things still work. The monitor case saw quite some substantial damage as well. I had everything glued back together, but for the small ventilation holes there was no avail. As I'm adding a TFT panel anyway, the lower ventilation holes will be enough, as it won't dissipate as much heat as the CRT. So for beautifying the upper ventilation hole sadness, I will fill it up using a silicone compound. By doing so, I can still remove it later on if it deems necessary. And here came the box with the new 12.1 inch TFT panel. I start by creating my own bezel that will cover up for the blank area for the 13 inch cutout opening. Here we get a first glimpse how this should eventually look like. I will also add some screws to the monitor frame where I can later attach some mounting brackets onto. It's always a good idea to try things out before you fully assemble them. Had I not done this, I would have realized only too late that this video controller does not like to play very well. I just got this matrix style garbling on my screen. I had then later replaced the video controller by a different one, which at least does not show garbling. Instead, I'm totally off with my screen resolution. I could eventually find a partial workaround by having DOS switch into VGA 640x480 mode, which fixed things. Still, it doesn't work on power up, so this is somewhat a mediocre solution to me. And this does not conclude my journey with the Compact 425 restoration. For reasons, I don't want to swap in a separate VGA adapter board because I want to have it working with the onboard VGA. In the past four months, I did different approaches, even trying to make it work using custom firmware for the driver boards, still to no avail. Probably my best bet would be to find a midnight his laptop and yank out a 12 or 13 inch panel and the driver board from there. I will continue my journey and if you don't want to miss it out then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. See you next time. <laughs>